All right, so today I'm talking about the scroll snap properties. Now these are CSS properties that allow you to make content snap to certain points as users scroll them. So I have here a main element inside of which I've got several sections and I've got the overflow Y set to scroll on the parent element and I'm scrolling back and forth here and just I haven't used any of the scroll snap properties I just this is the normal behavior you can scroll you can stop at any point along the way scroll snap is going to let us do things like if we've scrolled to here it's going to automatically snap to this point so it just gives a much better user experience if your content is sized properly okay so how does it work well there's two scroll snap properties the first one is scroll snap type scroll snap type goes on the parent so the main element that's wrapped around all the sections it gets two values the first one is one of these keywords x y block inline none or both the x and y have to do with x is the horizontal direction this is where I'm scrolling and this is the way I want to snap y vertically I'm snapping to certain points block and inline are the same thing it's horizontal and vertical but it depends on what your flow direction is so if you're inside of a flow container you've got flex direction set to horizontal and that becomes your main axis in line would be the opposite axis the perpendicular axis none means I'm not gonna do any scroll snapping and both means I wanna snap in both directions horizontally and vertically but honestly if you are building content that's scrolling in two directions you're probably not doing a good user experience it's very hard for users to follow content when they have to scroll left and right and up and down on the page. All right, the second value for scroll snap type is mandatory or proximity. And this has to do with how far the browser has to move the content to align itself with whatever the key points are. Now, mandatory means it's always going to want to snap to an edge. So whether it's the top edge, the bottom edge, or the center line, it's snapping to one of those points. Proximity means okay I'm here I'll let it sit here but if I got close to the top then the browser is going to take over and it's going to snap it right to that point so proximity if it's close it will finish it mandatory means it always wants to snap to some point and then the other property scroll snap align this is the one that goes on the child element and it says which part of the child do you want to align do you want the start which would be the top or the left or if the text direction is the other way then it's going to be the right or the top center meaning the center point of the content and end means the bottom edge or the left or right edge depending on the text direction and the flow direction all right so let's actually add the properties in here and make this work so you can see here I've got overflow Y set to scroll and you can hear my dog growling in the background probably there's somebody outside and she's not happy about that <laughs> but we will continue so scroll snap type we'll turn this on and for the sections there we are if we look at the HTML you can see the main is the parent container and the sections are inside of that there's the four sections so the main this is the thing that has the overflow Y set to scroll and it gets that scroll snap type and then each of these children get the scroll snap align scroll snap type so in the Y direction so vertically and we're setting it to proximity to start and I'm gonna set scroll snap align to start meaning the top edge inside of here oh, I guess I gotta save that so inside of here now as I scroll you can see I scroll a little bit and then I let go the browser takes over and snaps it to that edge if I come up to the top here I let go there it is if I come back down if I'm in the middle here somewhere I let go there I've let go of the trackpad nothing's happening and that's what the proximity does now if I come back in here and I change that to mandatory save that come back now even if I'm in the middle it wants to snap so I'm here and I let go it wants to snap to the top edge or there it is there it is so mandatory is automatically snapping now just to show what's going on here with uh, center or end to say that you can change the placement if we say 
center on this and we make it mandatory. And we change the height of these sections. So they're going to be 500 pixels, or let's, let's really exaggerate it, make it 700 pixels. Now each of these containers is much bigger than their parent. When I let go, there we go. This is the middle of this container. See the text is way off the top. shrink it down a little bit to the end. So there, this is the end of the container. Jumped up. Now there's a little bit of text here that was lost. There we go. So the container goes up to here. So we've got that extra 100 pixels up above. So there can be times where it seems a little odd which way it's jumping. You don't have perfect control over. The browser does do a lot of the work for us, but I think you will find, especially in situations where you make the parent container and the content inside, the sections inside, if you make those things the same size, you're going to have a really nice experience for your user. It automatically jumps to points in your code where you want the people to be able to stop and read and take a look at something. All right, so a copy of this code is in uh, link to down in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.